I sure hope geese aren't scared of spiders. <laughs> I sure hope geese aren't scared of ibuprofen. <laughs> Hey, hey, that's pretty gay. Hey, 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 yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Let me scam you out of all of your hard-earned <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Cartoon Network cards. <laughs> your internet points. I, I, you were, like, getting into it. You were like, alright, Brad, now the best way to do it is... I found... This, this yields the highest success rate if you say, hey, 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 yo, yo, yo. Nine out of ten times they will respond, and I was like, "Holy shit, he's right!" <laughs> I was like, "I don't believe you." I tried it, bruh. <laughs> what a fucking asshole thing to do to someone! Else. It really <laughs> is incredibly fucking dickish. Probably the worst thing I've ever done in my life is just scam children. <laughs> so I guess just for the sake of the stream, I'll explain. Um, so, fuck, I don't remember C-Zone a lot, though. Cartoon Network, the, uh, the, uh, old Cartoon Network website had this thing called C-Zones, and you could, like, you could, like, essentially make, like, your own little page, and you would get all these, uh, you could open little card packs and get all these, uh, like, graphics to put on your seed zone page or whatever. So, what I would do is I would tell people to invite me to their seed zone. They would come in and you can trade. Now, so, also, thing that needs to be known is this is like a kid site and try to keep it kid friendly and stop, you know, people from trolling it so you couldn't oh, yeah. type things in so it would be like there's a generic hey emote and a generic yo emote so he's like i know what i'm doing hey 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 yo 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 invite me to your c zone fucking it i had like a sales pitch going on you know like i i made him think that i was friendly pretty much the whole thing was like a scam where so you could go into the c zone page and then you could offer to trade and the weird fucked up thing about the trading thing was this was this was back in like 2000 and like four or five so i guess like the internet wasn't up to par with like how to not deal with this bullshit that i was pulling off but i would if you accept if if you af asked for a uh also i'm really tired so i'm stuttering like fucking crazy but Whenever you offered for a trade, they could accept or decline it. If they declined it, it would get rid of the page. Jesus. But if you kept refreshing it, like if you kept just spamming the button like accept, 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 just kept on doing it, they couldn't exit off of the page. They couldn't do anything. They would have to either say yes or no. If they said no, I would just click the button again and prompt a yes or a no. So what I would do is I would ask for nothing, or I would offer nothing, but I would ask for all of their shit. I would ask for every fucking cent that this child had to its name, and I would just be like, fucking do it, fucking do it, fucking do it, fucking do it, and then out of desperation, I'm gonna say three out of five times, they would just accept it. <laughs> At the end of the day, I think I had like how many how many fucking uh, graphics did I have? Graphics. Or whatever they were, you know, the little things I would steal from them. I I went to your C zone. I went to your C zone, and I was like, "Damn, son, where's all this stuff coming from?" Like thousands, like legitimately thousands of shit. I think I think I tried to make you know, since I love Dead Ed and Eddie, still do. I think I tried to make mine like nothing but Dead Ed and Eddie stuff, and I think maybe a few of the things that were pretty rare and hard to find I got from stealing, oh, like yeah, like you. you. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. Fun. Trading. Yeah. No. The thing I was doing was legal. I wasn't actually stealing. They they accepted. 
And again, I feel bad for what I did, but at the same time, I mean, look, listen to me. I was a fourth grade fucking scam artist. I feel like that's amazing. Honestly, I feel like... it's more impressive than anything. <laughs> it's not like you ruined some kid's life, <laughs> but what if you did? Just, just fucking wait. There... <laughs> I, I, I'm going to be the reason like some kid fucking just ended it all. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't fucking deal with it. Life was already bad enough, but but the last fucking straw. <laughs> the straw that broke the camel's back. He took my golden double D. <laughs> what was the game called? The trading card game? I have no idea. That's it was game. like, that's why it used like that's caps. Why I, that's why it's so hard for me to like explain. It's like, I have no idea what was happening at all. I, I I don't remember. Well, I mean, you remember this, but just for the sake of the story, that, like, the bottle cap game, there was, I, I, I don't want to say, like, it was like Hearthstone, because I don't really remember, but it was it was some form of digital card game. But it wasn't cards, they were, like, caps. Not exactly like bottle caps, but they were just in the shape of a circle. Anyway. So like they C had, point, the C tokens, or some shit? Uh, something like that. I'm sure if we Google searched it. No, I, I, it something finally did. Cartoon Orbit. Was that the name of the game? I, I... That sounds familiar. Created as an addition. Cartoon Orbit. Head-to-head -head strategy game, G-Tunes. G-Tunes! Okay. Yeah. No, you could buy packs. You could buy packs. And I think there was, like... I don't think there was such thing as... Ah, I don't think there was such thing as, like, regular... Packs like classic packs and Hearthstone would be. It was more just like, okay, this pack is, you know, this, and I guess they would use it to push whatever fucking cartoon was popular at the time. And yeah. it wasn't exactly like Hearthstone minions where like there were legendaries. It was like in every pack there was one thing that would be considered legendary, but it was even more rare than a legendary because there was only one of them, and it was like ridiculously overpowered and so hard to find. And I was a kid, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was like, oh, I have enough points to buy a G-Tunes pack. And I bought it, and I was like, wow, this one's really shiny. It was like kind of golden bronze colored, and it was I butter. Know. It was, it was buttercup. buttercup. Uh, uh, it was buttercup in her Halloween costume when she was like a shadow person. Yeah, she was like shadow with green eyes. It looked badass. Anyways. No, for a cartoon... For little girls, it was fucking sick. It was. But, um, yeah, I just got that. I played it. Then people would add me and be like, where did you get that? And I'm like, what? What, what are you talking about? I didn't understand that it was a big deal. What you talking about, man? Yeah, like, oh, this thing? Yeah, you want it? No, you can't have it. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, really? Really? No. <laughs> I'm just... I remember... I remember you got wise to it though, and like I think you put it up for like some sort of auction. Oh yeah, because I didn't give a shit about the game, but I realized that, that was a big deal. So I was like, I want to complete my Ed and Nettie C zone, and I'm missing a few of the, like the <laughs> uh, yeah, like I don't give a shit about you, Buttercup. And I was like, I was missing some of the older decorative pieces or whatever that go in your C zone that were Ed and Nettie themed that were harder to find because they were so old. Because I don't think we started doing it right as it happened. It was kind of in the middle of it. Or maybe even near the yeah. end. But, like, I was trying to sell it for a lot of whatever the currency was. I seriously think that I single-handedly destroyed... <laughs> the economy of seasons. <laughs> like, I fucked it up, dude. <laughs> Because, like, I'm pretty sure, I like, right when I started getting good at it, it ended. Like, the whole thing was done. And I'm pretty sure they were like, guys, guys, look at the fucking sale, look at the fucking trade chart on this one kid. <laughs> Dear God. Play cards. And look at this, look at this one transaction. He sold one Wild E. Coyote for 20... <laughs> 2.3 billion cards. <laughs> I was... And everyone's like looking around, do we have a rare Wile E. Coyote? No, it's ass! <laughs> ass! <laughs> like, like, their stock 
rooftops are plummeting and like people are jumping out of buildings and shit. <laughs> I was like, we got to get rid of it. We had to put it all in the shred everything. Imagine if that was your job. If you're an adult that gets paid to monitor statistics and like market values of fucking virtual deck decorations and like <laughs> bottle caps. <laughs> bottle caps. With cartoons on them.